Welcome to our fall concert band performance for 2020. Our presentation this year certainly looks different than any other performance I have ever been a part of. All of us have overcome many challenges and obstacles during the process of preparing for this performance. I am extremely proud of the students for their perseverance and their determination. Our performance is a culmination of work produced by students working independently and collaboratively in both the remote and hybrid learning situations. During this semester, we have focused our attention on providing an opportunity for students to continue to collaborate and make music together. The program you will see is a representation of important composers in classical music and a demonstration of individual instruments. Our work will be shared with elementary students in our district and will include the opportunity for young students to engage with more mature musicians. At this time, I would like to introduce my student teacher from Kent State University, Ms. Charlotte Dougherty. Hi, I'm Ms. Dougherty. I'm Mrs. Culver's student teacher. I'm an instrumental music education major from Kent State University, and I'm so fortunate to be spending my final days as a music educator in training here at Cuyahoga Falls. I've enjoyed so much working with these students to prepare this concert music, both online and in person, and I really hope that you enjoy our fall concert band performance. The Four Seasons, a collection of four short programmatic concertos, was composed in 1725 by Baroque composer Antonio Vivaldi. A concerto is a piece of music that is three movements long and features a solo instrument with accompaniment from an orchestra. In the Four Seasons, each concerto is named for one of the four seasons of the year, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. This excerpt is from the light, fast-paced first movement of the Spring Concerto. Listen for the sounds of joyous festivities and dancing to celebrate the coming of spring. <laughs> were invented in Germany around the year 1700. They're super popular in bands and in orchestras. They are woodwind instruments and they use one reed to make a sound. They also have a very large range of notes. It's about four octaves, which is a lot larger than some of the other instruments in band. You can play notes from like all the way to the next performance features the music of another famous Baroque composer, Joanne Sebastian Bach. The Minuet in G was originally written as a short piano piece, but here it is played by senior clarinetist Olivia Aloisi. Thank you. 
During the classical period, sonatas were a very popular form of music. Like a concerto, they were composed for solo instruments, but only for one or two instruments. Piano sonatas were written for solo piano and were designed for private performance in the company of only a few listeners. This selection by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is the main theme from his first movement of his piano sonata in A major. This will be performed as a duet by seniors Katie Fox and Emma King. Ludwig van Beethoven is an important part of the classical era. His works were inventive and great, especially towards the end of his life. O to Joy is the name given to the main melody of his final symphony, a piece Beethoven never got to hear as he was completely deaf by the time he composed it. You will hear this melody performed on a marimba, an instrument that is part of the percussion family. A marimba is made out of wooden bars struck with yarn mallets to produce sound. Re resonators are pipes under the bars help project the sound. Here's Riley Marquette to perform Ode to Joy. Tchaikovsky is an important composer from the Romantic era. While he is most famous for his ballets, such as The Nutcracker, he has composed a variety of other pieces, including piano music. One of his best known pieces was Album for the Young, a collection of short compositions. This work was important in contributing to the literature for the beginning pianist. Reverie is one of the selections from this album.
In the Hall of the Mountain King is a piece of music written to go along with a play about a troll king. The idea of using music to move the story along was very common in the late 1800s and is something that continues today in modern television and movies. You will hear this melody played on one of the oldest brass instruments, the French horn. The horn is made up of tubing wrapped into a coil with a flared bell. Here is senior Caitlin Phillips to perform this famous melody for you. Czech composer Antonin Dvorak had come to America to become a director of an orchestra. His experiences in our country inspired him to compose this piece about his time in this new world. We will hear this melody performed on the euphonium. The euphonium is a relative of the trombone and the tuba and is a popular instrument in the band but is rarely included in the orchestra. The theme from the New World Symphony will be performed by senior Kevin Gilroy. Robert Schumann was a German composer and was a music critic during the Romantic period. As a young man, he wanted to be a concert pianist, but due to a hand injury, he had to give that up and go towards composition. His wife, Clara, was a famous pianist, and so that led to him writing many pieces for her. But when it came time for his daughters to learn to play, he found that most of the pieces available were too difficult and were too boring, and so he ended up writing his own pieces. These 43 songs are now called the Album for the Young. 
and Hunting Song is also from this collection. much for taking the time to listen to our performance and see the work of our students. I am grateful for all of the support of our music program in the Cuyahoga Falls community. A special thank you to Mr. Lucas Fry, auditorium manager, for his tireless efforts in filming, recording, and editing our video. We literally could not have done this without him. Be on the lookout for the video release of our winter band concerts in mid-December featuring all of the concert bands and jazz bands at Cuyahoga Falls High School. <laughs>